Welcome to another riveting video from PyFun. This is more an instructional video and it shows you what you get when you plug in your OpenELEC image for the first time in your Pi. For our setup, um, we're going to be using the Pi on the LAN um, with a Cat5 cable plugged in and a mouse. I'm not going to use a keyboard. Uh, you don't need a keyboard really for um, open elect. So I'm just going to plug it in and then we'll see what we get. We've also tried this um, with a wireless uh, dongle and it worked fine. So I think I've about plugged it in. There we go. So you're immediately uh, presented with a logo, uh, but you don't get any of the scrolling text or the information that you get with Raspbian. Um, somewhat perplexingly at first, you're presented with a blank screen. But it doesn't take too long to boot up. And there we go. So what you're presented with is a sort of funky menu. You can control this with uh, your remote control. We're using the mouse at the moment just for easiness, but when I've got it in our front room, uh, I prefer to use the remote control. So you've got uh, a selection of menu categories. Now for you, you might be lucky uh, if you um, have your Pi connected uh, into your local area network and you're giving your Pi an IP address using DHCP, it'll pick up the network automatically. But uh, we have to do some configuration because we use static IP addresses at PyFun. But the first thing I'm going to do is go into uh, settings and I'm going to change using the system settings the video output because when you first get the image it defaults to 640 by 480 so you're going to want to probably bump that up to some high def proportions I have no idea if that looks better uh, for you on this video but it certainly does uh, in front of the screen And the next thing I'm going to show you is how to change the network settings. Now the system menu lets you configure all sorts of open elect things, but if you go into programs, there's an operating system settings program. It's a bit confusing, but, um, but I've had lots of fun looking around the menus. And here's where we set up the network configuration. You could set it up for wireless LAN, and you see there if you choose wireless LAN, it prompts you for your wireless LAN settings. Uh, but I'm going to set it up for a static IP address. You can see the user interface is designed so you don't need a keyboard. In fact, you can do all this with a remote. So I'm quickly going to run through this, so I'll probably use the magic of video. There we go. So, now we have to reboot for the uh, settings to take place. And there's an on-off button. So when we reboot, um, OpenELEC should connect to our network and we should start seeing things happening. 
There we are. But the first thing I've noticed, although not while I was making this video, is the time's correct. It's also going to start doing a lot of things because it's the first time it's connected to the internet and it's going to start downloading add-ons. In my desperate rush to show you uh, the movie that we saw in, see the red line there, I've forgotten that it's going to start downloading all sorts of things and configuring them. there, it's a little bit stuttery. This is purely because I forgot, but it's probably not a good idea to play a high def video while the network is updating itself. There's another add-on. Yes, I forgot all about that. But now that we've got internet, uh, we can do all sorts of funky things. We can check the weather. You have to wait um, a little while. But I'm not always impressed as to how it can find your location. Uh, there it's picked up Southampton, which is where I am. And it's going to be raining tomorrow. Brilliant. Okay, let's uh, have a look at iPlayer, the other thing that we um, install for you. Now, <laughs> I've forgotten where uh, it puts it, so. I'm searching for the iPlayer. In actual fact, it's in videos, add-ons. Yeah, yeah, I'll get there in the end. For my kids, this is the killer app. Uh, they would uh, quite happily forego uh, their PCs and give up flash games if they could get a pie and were allowed to watch television. So with the iPlayer, you get to choose from all of the uh, BBC's programmes. Um, not if you're not using a UK IP address though. Um, being educated and, and not young, I'm going to look at BBC Four. Oh look, and there's uh, Inspector Montalbano. I'll be meaning to catch up uh, with that. I've only watched the first couple. And here we see that it's got all of the series up to now. Watching anything, as simple as clicking on it, or moving down with the remote and pressing OK. In fact, I'm 
desperately trying to stop it so I can play something else. Uh, yeah, let's uh, have a look at live TV. This is uh, really amazing. You can also set up OpenELEC to watch live TV from your uh, cable feed. But this is live TV from iPlayer. Thanks very much. All of these events, by the way, happening in bright sunshine here in Edinburgh today. Let's catch up with the rest of the weather and uh, go to John. Thanks to you. Well, 25 gonna, years uh, ago tonight, the group obviously show too much of this in case uh, the BBC's lawyers get on top of me. Now, what I have done is press play instead of stop. I don't know why I did that, so it's got momentarily confused. So now I'm doing what any self-respecting uh, IT professional would do. I'm clicking on random buttons. And there we go, it's back. Okay, on to music then. Uh, I'm going to plug in at this stage uh, my SD card. Or rather, my USB stick with an SD card in it. And once you do that, it's all um, plug and play or hot plug. There, you can see it's appeared there. And you can play your music directly off your USB stick. It actually comes up there as a 3.7 gigabyte drive. So now I'm going to show you how to copy the uh, your music files onto the SD card. On the left there, you can see that we've got um, my uh, SD card showing up. That's the 3.7 gigabyte drive. And there's the files. I'm going to right click on them, choose copy, and it's going to copy them over to the right hand side of the screen which I pointed to the music directory. I did that rather quickly, but never mind. Now, inexplicably, for some reason, uh, at the end of that copy procedure, OpenELEC decided to reboot. It can be a little bit flaky sometimes. In general, uh, though, for everyday use, it's fine. I'm not sure if that rebooted or, or something, but it did do the copy. There's my music now on the SD card. And that's about it, I think. Uh, oh yeah, we'll just have a quick look at add-ons. Um, there's loads of add-ons. If you go into the uh, settings, uh, there's an add-ons option. And from there you can look at all the add-ons. There are loads. This is just the categories of add-ons. This isn't actually the add-ons. And I'll, I'll uh, leave you to uh, have a look through that. Some of them are a bit flaky though. Uh, some of them do crash the pie. Uh, it's early days, uh, so do make a backup of your SD card before you start playing. See you next time.